See the triangle that I'm going to construct is going to have a base of 9 centimeters, and the two angles are going to be 35 and 65 degrees. So my starting point will be that I draw a base of 9 centimeters. And again, I label that. I'm going to have one angle of 35 degrees, so I'll put my 35 degree angle here. Again, remember, line the crossbow, make sure it goes to zero. I'm looking to measure 35 degrees, so I'll be looking at the inside scale, 0, 10, 20, 30, 35. And as I draw my line, I extend it because I don't know how long this side is going to be. And I'll label this as 35 degrees. And the other angle that I'm going to have is going to be 65 degrees. So again, lying up my crossbow. making sure that it goes through zero and obviously this time I'm looking at the scale outside so zero, fifty, sixty, sixty-five and again join the base making sure that it goes through my mark and cutting this length here which is thirty-five degrees I will label this as 65 degrees and of course as a good mathematician I need to check that I've actually measured this correctly so looking at this one here okay and there we have 65 degrees and going back to this one here I have 35 degrees now a typical exam question may well be that you have to do this construction and they may well actually ask you, well, could you measure this angle here? So we'll just do that and see what it is. Okay. I'm just going to turn my pad round just to make it easier for me. Okay, so I'm going to measure this angle here. Okay. And that angle there, as you can see, is 80 degrees. So I will label that as 80 degrees. And as good mathematicians, you all know that the angles in a triangle add up to, that's right, 180 degrees. And 65 and 35 give me 100. And obviously that is 80 degrees. Now, there is a notation for this as well and it's called angle side angle and if you recall angle side angle 